There are two different ways to putt in 3D Ultra Mini Golf, Easy Putt and True Putt. In Easy Putt, use your mouse to line up the putter blade in the direction you want to putt the ball. If you need more help lining up the putt, you can use the aiming line feature. Just click on the caddy button in the upper left corner of the screen, and then when the caddy window comes up, click on aiming line to turn on this feature. This option is also available from the top menu bar. Just move the mouse to the top of the screen and choose aiming line under options. To putt the ball in easy putt, just press and release the left mouse button. Hold the mouse button down longer and you will hit the ball farther. Hold the button down for a very short time and you'll just tap the ball a short distance. The power bar shows how hard you will hit the ball. Like the aiming line, it can be turned on or off from the caddy window or the menu bar. To switch to true putt, you can either bring up the caddy window or you can go to the menu bar under options. Click on true putt and you'll be ready to use the more challenging putting method. Just like in easy putt, you move the mouse to line up your putt. When you've got your putt all lined up, click and hold the mouse button to grab a hold of your putter. Move the mouse back to bring your putter back and then move the mouse forward to strike the ball. The faster you move the putter forward, the harder the ball will be hit and the farther it will go. On your very first shot from the tee, you can also reposition the ball anywhere on the tee. Just move the mouse pointer over your ball. You can tell when you're over the ball, the mouse pointer will turn into a little bitty hand. Now click and hold down on the mouse button and you can drag your ball anywhere on the tee. Release the mouse button to drop the ball in its new spot. You can only do this on your first shot though and you can't move the ball off the tee. That's it, you're ready to go. If you want to run this putting demo again, you can find it under help on the menu bar.